Hello, this is One Black British Woman's Voice, and I'm just going to do a quick impromptu vlog um, about the recent spate of redundancies occurring at Twitter headquarters at this moment. As you may or may not know, Elon Musk has purchased Twitter after much legal wrangling, that is. He's purchased Twitter, and so, of course, like all corporations that are taken over by a separate entity, they ensues mass redundancies. And it means a lot of people at Twitter are being made redundant right now. Now, what I'm actually saying in this vlog, to you, particularly if you're ethnic, is not to care less about these redundancies. You and I both know that what Twitter have been doing or what these Twitter engineers have been doing for the longest time have been suspending black profiles who are either pro-black or defending themselves from racist trolls whilst allowing racist profiles to prosper, which is why I have a block button or blocking profile mandate, which is if the profile um, is someone uh, extreme or the right wing or whatever, you know, whoever they are, I tend to block that profile just so that I don't provide it any engagement because engagement equals profits. And so when they were letting people like Katie Hopkins and Candice Owens and all these other whatever these creatures are talk on their platforms they were allowing them to grow so that we would engage with them and then there would be profit from that but they would not allow black profiles to grow in the same way or to evolve at the same rate they banished us suspended us but kept them so with these twitter engineers and these twitter employees please do not show them any empathy whatsoever do not give them your condolences did you know like I don't care if they can't feed their kids for the next 10 years because of this. These people were instrumental in quelling, blocking, muting and silencing pro-black voices and any opposing voices. So let them be unemployed. Do you know, let their racist God take care of them. Meanwhile, I'm just drinking some tequila and watching it unfold and I'm loving every moment of it. <laughs> Yeah.